with my modified uh, one ton arbor press that I detailed in a project in the article section I removed I ground the uh, handle end of the horizontal shaft in the press to uh, a hex shape that accepts a one and a quarter inch uh, socket wrench that allows me to use a ratcheting socket wrench uh, as a handle um, which is convenient to when I'm using the press but it also allows me to use a reversing torque wrench and the advantage of that is I can set the pressure the maximum pressure I can hit without the torque wrench popping and press to a consistent pressure every time and that's what I'm doing when I'm pressing this, the spillets for these uh, 12 inserts for my 13 uh, my 5 inch 13 timed uh, spider shell so I'll show how I use this press using the torque wrench I've set the torque wrench where it pops at about 700 pounds of force using my P2F gauge I'm pressing spillets using my 3 inch long, half inch OD, 0.3 inch ID uh, New England paper tubes. I've got those listed in the store, and that's what I'm using uh, because I'm using these in this Detata type inserts with half inch stars, so I want a half inch OD spillet and flash bag in there. Caleb made a nice support, um, a slide in one piece support for these tubes. I can't press a spillet without a support uh, it'll 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 start bending and smashing uh, under the force like I said I set <clears throat> the force on this uh, press to pop at 700 pounds 700 pounds of force on a 0.3 inch diameter rammer surface of composition creates 10,000 PSI on the composition, which is comp which is consolidating this uh, GoX 4FG powder very nicely. That's what I'm using in these spillets. So I just simply used my P2F gauge and adjusted the torque wrench so it pops at that 700 pounds. I can press real quickly up to 700 pounds and release it. So I don't. So I no longer have to use the P2F gauge then when I'm pressing the uh, spillets. So I'm going to press a one and a half, a number one and a half, which is three-eighths of actual timer powder. That'll have another quarter inch that has a core going into it in the middle of the powder grain. So I actually want to press two and a half, which is five-eighths inch of powder in this. I'll put the, um, I've made a mark on here at the three-eighths that I want the actual timing to go to, the one and a half. And I've set a um, pin vise with a 1 8 inch bit to go just that deep when it goes in as far as it can. Uh, Caleb's also made a nice little handled pin vise type rig where I can adjust the length of a drill bit coming out to just the right length. Uh, this is not quite long enough to drill my um, number one and a half there, so I am using the pin vise. So I put the tube in there stick a piece of masking tape on the end of it, introduce an increment of powder. I'm using, in these 0.3 inch ID tubes, I'm using a 0.3 cc scoop out of the lead powder measure scoops. That uh, creates about an eighth of an inch increment each time I press an increment. So with a uh, my elbow being bad and uh, various other old age geezer maladies, being able to press these rather than hand ram them is very handy. So after two increments I've now pressed about a quarter inch of powder in there. And I want to press, like I say, a total of five eighths inch of powder. Then I'll press a core into the end of that powder grain about a quarter inch deep and then sweeten that up with the drill bit to just the right length.
And right there I've got just about five eighths. I need just a fuzz more powder in there. So I've got my five eighths inch of powder in there with a the solid rammer. Now I'll use the pointed end rammer and press that quarter inch deep, one eighth inch diameter hollow into it. And that takes me to right about three eighths. Now I'll take and sweeten that up to just exactly the right depth with the drill bit drilling in I've got a little mark on the pin vise making sure I don't go deeper than I can but the tapered end of the pin vise prevents me really from doing that so there I've got a one and a half spillet pressed so I just thought I'd demo how I'm using the uh, torque wrench on this modified one-ton arbor press to really speed up the pressing of my splits nicely.